Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm going to bring you a review of the Hive Active Heating System from British Gas. Hive do a range of smart products, including lighting, sensors and plugs, with the promise of even more on the way. For today, I'm just going to be reviewing the Active Heating System because I've been using it for around a year. This means that this review isn't just about someone who's kind of bought something to test it out, but it's about someone who uses it every single day. And so I hope it's going to be really helpful and really useful for you in deciding whether you should pick one up or not. So let's start with price. The Hive Active Heating will set you back around £250, including installation by a British gas engineer, or £179 without fitting. If you shop around, you can find it a little bit cheaper. For example, eBuyer currently have it for £200 with installation. For this price, you get the Hive Hub, which you can add additional devices to, like bulbs and sensors and things, the thermostat, which is wireless, and the receiver, which is wired into your boiler. When it's installed, an engineer will come out and fit it, and then talk you through the device and the app. Personally, I think it's worth going for this option, especially as fitting it requires fiddling around with a boiler, and so it's not something you should attempt yourself. For the price, I also don't think it's too bad, especially when it includes professional installation. Secondly, design. The hub and the receiver have fairly plain, simple white designs, which means they're very much suited to any environment they happen to be in. And to be honest, the design of these doesn't really matter too much. They're not bulky and they don't look awful, and that's probably all you need from them. The item where design matters, however, is the thermostat. The high thermostat has a grey reflective front which lights up to show the display when you touch it. It's about the same size, if not a little bit chunkier than a normal thermostat, and it can either be mounted on a wall, or you can pick up a stand for it. If you don't like the white edging, you can also buy additional frames to customise the look. Personally, I think the design is really nice. It's sleek, it's modern, and it certainly doesn't look out of place. The top of the thermostat has a boost and hot water button, and on the front you'll find a control dial, a back button, a menu button, and a yes button. Using this to control your heating is easy for adjusting temperature, checking temperature, or boosting your heating. And it's completely functional for things like setting schedules on holiday modes. To be honest, I mostly use the app to adjust the heating, but the thermostat is easy to use and it's clearly been well thought out. As I said, the thermostat is wireless and this means it takes batteries. Because I don't use the thermostat that often other than to check the temperature when I pass it, or occasionally to adjust it, I found that batteries tend to last quite a long time in it. The real trick with any thermostat is to make sure it's somewhere that's generally the average temperature of your house, not in a hot room. This means that you won't be sat in one room sweating whilst the thermostat says it's actually really, really cold. Next, the features of it, which I've already begun talking about. The Hive heating system allows you to do things like set holiday modes, set up daily schedules for temperatures in your house, boost your heating for a short time slot, turn off your heating, set it to frost protection mode, or override all of that and just go manual. All of these features can be controlled through the thermostat or the app. The app also lets you add recipes, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute. In terms of functionality as a whole, British Gas have made the Hive super easy to use, and it's such a sleek system. Of course, the make or break for anything related to a smart home is the app that works on your smartphone. Since I started using Hive, they've continued to update the app and add new features alongside expanding their product range as well. The app is pretty simple to use and it's the place that you manage all of your Hive devices, but I'm just going to talk about using it to manage your heating. From the default screen that's shown in the app, you can see the current temperature of your house and turn the heating up or down, boost it or advance to the next scheduled slot. You can also switch it to manual mode or turn it off. In addition to this, you can adjust your daily schedule, set up geolocation notifications, and switch on, off, or schedule holiday mode. All of these features work remotely too, so if you're travelling back from work early and you want to boost the heating, you can. Or if you've gone away on holiday and forgotten to switch off your heating, you can do that from the comfort of your sunbed. One of the newest features is recipes. This allows you to get your Hive devices to talk to each other. For example, when motion is detected, it could switch on a particular light, or when a door sensor goes off, it could turn on your heating. These recipes seem to have real potential for making your home truly automated. Whilst Hive is packed with useful features, there are some downsides as well. For me, the big one is that whilst the app works with iPhones, Hive haven't yet added the functionality to allow it to appear in the Home app by Apple. This is the main reason that I'm using Philips Hue for lights at the moment, although I hope Hive will sort this out in the future, because Home is a brilliant place to manage all of your devices. Secondly, the location functions are purely about notifications. 
This means that whilst the phone app will alert you when you go away from home or when you're heading back to home and tell you the current temperature of your house, you can't tell it to automatically switch on or off the heating based on your location. Although maybe this is a good thing if more than one person lives in your house. Thirdly, there isn't guest access. Although the simple workaround to this is just to get your family to download the app and then simply sign in on it with your account. Or just get them to use the thermostat. So what's the verdict? Overall, Hive Active Heating is a brilliant bit of kit. I can't comment if it's better than Nest or the others out there because it's the only one I've used, but before buying it I did sit and read a lot of reviews of all the others before deciding that Hive was right for me. The thermostat itself looks good, and with British Gas continuing to invest and add products to the lineup, it looks like Hive could be the one solution you need for a fully integrated smart home in the future. The question with a lot of these things is will it save you money? If you're the sort of person who forgets to turn your heating off, or if you don't already have a thermostat or programmable heating system, then yes, it probably will. If you're already quite savvy with your heating, then unless you desperately want the remote functionality, then the Hive probably won't pay for itself. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you've got any questions about the Hive, then please do comment them below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.